and welcome to another well-organized and well-timed Hat Chat good, podcast. Nice for us. Uh, we're here, as always, to delight your ears with intelligent and sensible discussions about the important things going on in the world today. Mm. If you came here looking for something immature and somewhat inappropriate, then you'll be sorely disappointed. Uh, because this bloody podcast will not contain such nonsense. No. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> that was good. Off. That was anyway, a dramatic pause. I'm Ross Hornby, and I'm joined by Chris Twat uh, what? and Alex Sminge. That's, uh, that's cool. my name. Don't wear it out. It's not their real names. Don't wear my name out, Sminge. Trotton Smith. What no. are the announcements today? Let's go to that section somehow. <laughs> um, all right. So this week. Go on. Because it's a ghetto stream. Oh, hang yep. on. Well, okay, I guess apparently we're just there now. Thanks, Sorry, Ross. Oh, oh, no, we're not there. What? The hell's going on? We'll go on? back. No. Let's go back. No, we're there now. Oh. Just, just let him Fuck. talk. Just okay, talk. Go for it, go for it, Trot. Just say it. No. Go for it. I've lost my flow. I've lost my, my fluid. He's lost his well, it's, part of, it's part of the whole ghetto thing. I think Ross did that to interrupt me just to prove how ghetto... <laughs> that... <laughs> this whole po- podcast is right now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you, everybody. Okay, so go on then, Trump. All right, so this is an announcement to remind you that we don't do announcements at the start anymore. Oh, right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's an announcement to stop the announcements. Okay. But, Jesus. Uh, the other announcement is um, this is live, so if you listen to yeah. this on iTunes, this is irrelevant to you, but you should join in on the stream next time. Mm-hmm. Um, but tweet us with the hashtag HatChat to Ooh. send us a question, and we'll Hat read chat. out some questions at the end of this podcast. Thank you very much. Can I get the... Can I get the... Oh. Which one? The, the, the tether? Celebratory. Yeah! Woo! There you go, you got it. Thank you. And that is the end of the announcements round. I feel like we've That's already right. used too many of those. There's only three. Why is Ross in charge of sound? Because uh, I... I don't know. Uh, right. There's no real of reason all the people for it. that shouldn't be in charge of sound. So you asked for the fucking jingle! Look, just celebrate. We didn't have jingles before. Thank you! Right, okay. <laughs> so, Moving on. Uh, okay, so... um. Yes, there's, what, no more announcement? Okay, that's fair enough. No, it's keeping it short, abrupt, let's get straight into the meat. But how do we travel to the hatch section? Normally we find a mode of transport. All right, I've been stretching Smith's scrotum for the past month. Jesus. Jesus. Until it's become like... I had noticed. Christ. (laughs) I wonder what you were going back and forth. He's lost feeling there now. So I I reckon we could all, you know, sort of hot air balloon it. Hot air balloon the sack? So if you, like, fill it with gas... And then just ignite. Oh my god! How'd you like the sound of that, Smith? Huh? All right, yeah, what? no, hold on. If you can cut a butthole, um, <laughs> at, at, cut at, a butthole. Yeah, as in, so fill it with gas. We can try yeah. and link the the now extremely baggy scrotum to the Jesus. lower colon um, to produce gaseous air, uh, which of course is sort of a you know bit. So sounds pretty same horrible, thing, really. Sounds and we'll really fill it up. Horrible. Okay, so right, I filled it up. Fill up, please. Fill it up. <laughs> All right. What do we <laughs> what do we use as a basket, though? Huh? Oh, that's you. That's where what? you come in. So you no, just, just put, your, onto my head. put your arms and legs up. So okay. they're, those are all the like the legs. Mm-hmm. And then just attach yeah. yourself, hold on to Smith's scrotum. Yeah. Right. And I'll sit just in the middle there. Thank you. I am going to put a cushion down. Know. Put a nice little silk cushion don't down. I don't like that at all. So Smith is the, the baggy scrotum hot air balloon. You, you're no, the I, basket. I was thinking you guys could just hold on to my air, hair. So I go up. So you're the bottom. Like you're the bottom. Down. Or like Ratatouille. Because well, if the ball, if the, if the scrotum's the, the balloon, <laughs> yeah, the trigger's going to be at the top and my head's going to be at the bottom. Wait. So I'll just hold on to you. Nice. Just grab one of my arms. All right. Oh, yeah. I've got, I got lefty. Go I've got old lefty. I'll, <laughs> I'll go for the other option. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And up we go. Okay. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's make our way <laughs> we go. towards the hat chat section. Exciting. Before we start this section... A lot of people in the comments saying there are lots of audio cuts. Cool. Oh. And I don't know whether we just want to roll through it and just do, do the recording or if we want to deal with that. I mean, no, it doesn't get much better than this, I guys. I honestly cannot improve it in any way from where I am. But it's mm. odd that it started happening. Yeah. Is the soundboard thing... The, uh, soundboard is not attached to the, the yeah, output. Say, so it doesn't really... So do they, separate. They wouldn't, they wouldn't hear... Don't oh, worry, also, though, guys. I'm quite quiet on the mic, apparently. Oh, I just get okay. closer, you know. I, I, are, I am already quite close. No, put it, put it in your mouth. Okay, just turn up a bit. Just send them up. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, for those people watching live, don't worry. Um, there will be a high quality. <laughs> yeah, we'll make a high quality version, laugh, and we'll figure laugh, out. Laugh, we'll reevaluate <laughs> the whole setup of this because at the moment it's just not it's not on. But you know, 
Right. You know, we'll, we'll sort something out. It'll get better, don't worry. All right, it'll smooth itself out. As all yeah. engineers say, you've just got to give it time. Let cool. it ease itself in. All right, so yeah, it's got a bed in. Um, How do you know all engineers say that? All the engineers I've ever to, seen. He's spoken to all of them. All of them. Oh, right, okay. So this is the hat chat section of hat chat. <laughs> it's um, meta. It's uh, Name pending, meta. okay? It's a placeholder. So D&D is, what, is the top subject yeah. of hat Ross chat right now. Ross is the huge fan of well, D&D I've got recently. nothing. Yeah, I've got nothing to say about this. He's been playing a lot of D&D, Ross has. Tell yeah. us about your, all the D&D you've been playing recently. Ross. I've been playing so much D&D. What's D&D mean, Ross? Dungeons and Dragons. I know oh, that much. That was a fucking easy question, Trot. There we Step go. Step up your game. So there you go. You've you've lost because I won the I won the quiz. Okay, right now Ross is going to become DM for next sesh. Yep. <laughs> it's going to become a. Is that the only sound effect mess. you've got? I have three. <laughs> I wow. Have, I also have. <laughs> yeah. And cool. I have the. Oh, oh, oh my God. Hell no. Is that like when you do a big burn or something? I don't know. Huge. I literally have that ready. For I the literally next rustled huge burn those I up. Trot, I, I rustled those up. Minutes. I rustled those up very quickly before we started recording. So okay. um. They're literally just random celebratory okay. noises. Can you do the horn again? I really, I really wish I couldn't hear right, that. I'm ready. Yeah, there you go. Um, you, you got the horn. All right, so uh, D&D, we're playing that. Trot's been running the game for us. Uh, it's been really fun. Um, I, I am just, a high elf wizard. I haven't, by the way, just um, to clarify that. Trot is is a, a very unfair game master. Hey! Um, I'm pretty. Unfair. I'm pretty fair. All of Trot's characters that he's played so far as a DM have been usually assholes. Um, yeah, which isn't great. All right, um, let, let me explain myself. Okay, right. so in the lore of D and D, there's a type of elf called a drow elf. If yep. you've ever seen the community episode where the guy is completely yep. like blacked with yep. paint, that is a drow elf. Yeah, drow elves come from the underdark, which is like a cave system underneath the whole world. And they're hated. Okay. They're really loathed. Okay. And Shin is a fucking drow elf. What about so half orcs? Half orcs are, all, are also abominations because no one likes orcs. You guys have been killing goblins and shit. But is it quite their fault? Willy nilly and, it and hating orcs them. By, is it a half orcs' fault? Yeah. Why? Well, no, it's not, is it's it? not their fault. Half orcs should be pitied, mate. And also, um, we we met a druid last night, and uh, and the druid was, um, you know, a, I, I thought the, the druid would be one of nature, one with nature. Yeah. Um, and orcs nope. aren't really natural. Horrible bastard. Yeah. Um, Why? Half orcs aren't natural. Just, you know, it was just like, oh, don't like him, don't like him. I, don't, I didn't like the two don't, people. Don't the, like them. I didn't like the drowth. Yeah. I didn't like the half orc. Yeah. What didn't you like about them? He knows Mostly, what he doesn't like. Yeah. He knows what, what he likes, he knows like? what he doesn't elves, like. Elves, totally cool. Totally fine with Humans, elves. all right. No, but it has been a very fun adventure. Um, we, uh, we've also been playing Pathfinder, me and Trot, which is a slightly different, similar to D&D. &D. Um, on Monday mechanics. nights on the Clogs and Crumpets stream, which I know a few people are part of. I'll tell you what, though. There is a ton of stigma with D&D, rightly so, because it is high fantasy nerd stuff. Yeah. But I will say it's a ton of fun. Yeah, I, I, I've had a lot of fun doing it. It's, it's, a, of, it's a social event, I consider it to yeah, be. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of... Um, a reason to sit around a table and chat and have some beers. I think you need a certain... Eat cookies. Like willingness to deal with some of it, though, because yeah. it's not just about, you know, like... Um, imagination and social elements there are some you know quite a lot of dice sex rolling scenes i like to involve a lot of sex a lot of banging between um, half orcs and dra drought and drow. a draft orc um yeah no. ross um shin last night he gave a three-hour monologue Sorry, if i can say that no. what gone uh a three-hour monologue of how he essentially involved himself physically with another orc did he yeah i don't really? remember that <laughs> that's so shin yeah. It's so it's a, it was amazing. No, yeah. that didn't happen, but it's going to happen. But why didn't that happen? There's a lot of sexual it's tension in the group. Okay, it's a shame that didn't happen. Yeah, but yeah, Dindy's awesome. It, I really recommend giving it a go if you're inclined to do that also kind of thing. Just with some people who are actually willing to do it as well. It's, it's also all about the group. Kind of yeah, that's why I'm probably not going to be any fun there because I'm just really like, oh, what do we do? I'm just, yeah, I'm stupid. If the if the Christmas live streams are anything to go by, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was rubbish, um, and I'm not going to. But it's fun. I, I recommend it. Another thing we all did, though, go is on. go watch Interstellar Live yeah. at the Royal Albert Hall in London. On Monday. Holy <laughs> moly. Last Monday. It was yeah. amazing. That was amazing. I tried to get a hand job for Michael Caine. I did. He He's like, did? All right, Chris. All right, Christopher. So if drop your pants then. All right, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> all right, Mr. Uh, Wayne. Sorry, Mr. We kept Trot. saying, like, joking that we would, like, yell out when he came on stage, um, you only blow the bloody doors. Oh, not the <laughs> yeah. Australian accent, but we wanted um, to come and do a really loud, just like introduction because he introduced. What well, he, he did he introduce the talk? I can't remember. Basically, we had Stephen Hawking. Yeah, uh, kicked it off. He introduced uh, Brian Cox. Yep. Kip Thorne. Yep. 
two professors. Chris Nolan and Hans Zimmer. Yeah. Director. So basically, so, so Stephen Hawking introduced those on stage. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then he went off. Mm-hmm. Um, then, then they, they talked well, they for about like 40, an, the half yeah, hour, quite 40 a minutes. Long time. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, something yeah, like that. Um, like the science behind it. Basically, just all, at, you know. Tesseracts. Freaking. They were all over Fifth Chris dimension, Nolan, weren't they? they? I felt it was a bit. Yeah, you know, it, it was, was very Kipsorn. Like, it was a bit hero. sort of like oh, he was so good. He's so visionary. He's so, it's just like oh god, all right guys, like you're scientists, you're clever. Just yeah, you're, like you I think it's just because obviously they they like they, they had the budget it. to visualize most of the things that they had theories for. Right. Yeah. And therefore it's like oh wow, this is amazing. And obviously that's quite an, like a spectacular thing to see someone you know get into a three D studio and produce those things. The yeah, images it, that and stuff was definitely cool. Based around the theories and obviously then just use something that they look look nice instead of. But did they need to basically rim Chris Nolan on stage for forty five minutes? Probably not. No. I think, Probably not, but I think you know his, a, it was his you know film about the show. It's all a big ad, it? isn't it? This is still yeah, a, exactly. Like the, it was, it was, it was the film was released on the same day, but so. it was nice to hear that some behind the scenes. I oh, mean, oh no, it was most... brilliant to like get the explanation for the tesseract and like the whole thing at the end with like all the fucking crazy like light bouncing off the walls. If you haven't seen Interstellar, by the way, um, you know this is going to probably be a bit of a spoiler for you. If so, yeah, um, deal with it. Well, we won't well, say anything. Will we? Well, we're not going to say Already spoken about a tesseract, mate. That's, well, right. that's not uh, enough yeah. to. Yeah. That's not enough to spoil it, though, is it? Yeah, but that's also if in the smart Avengers. Enough, it is. If you're smart enough, it is. Yeah. So there you go. That's some fantastic spoilers. Audience Smith. splitting. There you go. Um, Based on intelligence. But yeah, no, it was really good. And then Mike, yeah, Mike King came on after those guys. And, and Michael oh, Bane. He, he shouted what? what and he, he reintroduced shout? Chris Nolan. Eleven years ago, I a little him. man came to my door. A little boy. A little boy. <laughs> And I answered it all myself. Spoiler, the boy was Batman. Chris Nolan. Chris Batman. Nolan. It was Batman. It was Batman all along. And he was shouting, Chris I am Nolan the knight. I am the knight. He punched I him. am the knight. So they set up some cameras and filmed Batman right there and then. Right there and then. But yeah, it was amazing. And the actual having an orchestra, yep. oh. a 60-piece orchestra. Which we didn't was, even mention that bit, did we? That's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hans Zimmer was there Conducting, orchestrating. Well, not conducting. He wasn't he was conducting. He was part doing of like the I think it was on MP3 piano. shit, wasn't he? He MP3 played around. Shit. No, he wasn't on a piano. He was on computers. Oh, all right, okay. He was on yeah. synth. I can really yeah, see yeah, it. And mixing. Yeah. But yeah, he was there with the 60-piece orchestra, and they did a live performance of all the music. They took the music out of the film, which was on a big projector mm. above them, and they played the music That's live, good point, actually. Yeah, which was must, uncannily good. It was weird. So the thing is, it got to a point where you were watching the film, and obviously quite immersed in it, that you didn't even notice that right. like, there was this big orchestra going, the bar underneath. It's really cool. There was one particular scene where they have to do a very specific space maneuver Gone. and it's very very tense oh yeah, yeah. and uh so a it's docking it's scene the docking it's the docking scene it's the docking scene Chris and Trot, docking music Chris was going Trot nuts tubers docking. were going bloody net mental ah. and uh everyone just erupted into a round of applause yeah. Yeah. Sound it was, like Ross it was good. the sound bite that we got from the oh orchestra. right it's a very surreal moment um, but it was great oh, you could have used the fucking horns not the guys cheering <laughs> That's what it sounded like. That's what the yeah. Was like. So there was a lot of air horns in the Interstellar. Uh, there was a lot of air horns. There was a lot of it was just a rabble, general kind of <laughs> huge rabble. You know, offensive. Uh, that was a huge, riot, wasn't there? Was there? A huge couple riot. riots. People Hans Zimmer's yeah. dead now. There were uh, he got bottled. There were, yeah. there was, <laughs> just straight in his German face. Right. He um, was so jovial and jolly. He was a really yeah. nice guy. What a nice guy. He was a really cool guy. He's just but like, yeah. oh, it's really fun. Like blah, blah, blah. Anyway, again, he was very kind of. But actually, who wrote it was Chris. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> no, well, hang on, he didn't Hans, write. It he you. kind of probably said that sounds really good. I want to use that in my film. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah, yeah, that was another thing. It's like fucking. He hasn't done everything, guys. You're a, a, probably one of the smartest men on the planet over there, Mr. Yeah. Physics guy. You're a really, really good composer. It's not all Chris Nolan. Today. Yeah, they did sway a lot. Brian Cox swayed a lot of the questions, saying like, "How did Chris Nolan change your life?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and then well, Michael Caine well, was the same, where he's like, "I've never had six blockbusters in a row." And just like, okay, well, not even two. Uh-huh. <laughs> Probably had a couple of big ones. Italian yeah, everyone job. Everyone just screaming. Hello? Stop! He's a crowd pleaser, though. Off. He got the yeah. crowd going. He was really funny. God, he, he moved quite yeah. juddery though. And he, he blew the bloody doors off. He did blow the bloody doors off, which was actually a hazard. It was. I, it feels like. Because obviously this is a one-off event. It's mm-hmm. like we're gloating. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. We just really enjoyed it. And we wanted to inform you that it happened. It wasn't very good. Okay. And maybe it's going to be on video somewhere. It's a talking piece. It. It's a talking piece. It's it something talk- to talk it is about. Talk about. Yeah, talk about. Yeah, Otherwise, I'll be fucking pressing these buttons all, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Next next topic on the hat chat. Section. Yeah. Go on. It just oh, says April Fools with a question mark at the end of it. April Fools. Yeah. Smith doesn't know this, but he's actually been fooled oh. for the past day. Has he? Yeah. What have you done? It's. I want him to figure it out and see what is messed up. Are you just going to make? Is, is just going to make me paranoid. This yeah, is yeah. going to make him paranoid, isn't it? Well, because I can't see anything. Something's really wrong in your life, and 
it's the fact going that to you're be, in it? It's going to be quite tragic if you don't figure it out pretty soon. Okay, so we'll just leave with that. Have you done a shit in my freezer? Your geckos are going to die. They're both dying. Have you seen your geckos today? Yeah. Yeah. I are they your geckos? Morning. Mate. Oh, they're oh, your geckos. Oh, he swapped the gecko. He swapped around. Oh, he classic, did the old switcheroo. It's a classic they're gecko They're beanbags. Oh. It's a classic Little bean-filled toys. Don't put bean... Where are the actual geckos? Oh, they're dead. You binned them, I didn't flushed you? them. You flushed them. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> like fine. a fish. They're reptiles. Yeah, oh, wait, they're... no, that's amphibians. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, try and figure that one out, Smith. Um, it's quite bad. I'm sorry. But you just said it was the geckos. No, no, that was a that was a bluff. There's the genuine fooling that I'd done to you, and see if the audience can figure it out as well. Video-wise, we didn't do any anything April Fool's based. Tr- you haven't done anything. No. I know you haven't. No, I haven't. No, it's true. Yes. Well, has he? Hmm. We don't say the audience. Try, I was going to put because um, they'll go fucking mental as well. I was going to put fucking mental. like rat pellets in your um, coffee yeah. trot. Warfarin, mate. Oh. And I was just going to I was going to tweet about it as you drank it. Yeah. And oh. then you'd be like, hang on. What the fuck? And uh, then I I'm, would have given you just enough that it would hospitalise you, and then I'd be tweeting live, just, live, live tweeting from. That's the horrible. You know, that's really horrible. Poisoning. Yeah, Hashtag. and I'd be like, "Yo, April Fools!" He's dead. You know, he actually died. He passed away. You know, um, yeah, so you I mean, can actually st- take small amounts of rat poisoning, uh, poison. Well, yes. like well, some sort of Why? recreational Why drug. Why would you take Smith? it? Why would you take some it? Some sort of recreational drug to get you high. Rat poison. You, you done? <laughs> Go on. Uh, rat Nuts. poison, uh, us- well, I don't know, if it, it usually is something called warfarin, and warfarin is used um, to thin the blood for things like blood clots and stuff, people, um, and like blood and heart issues. Can you use weed killer <laughs> as an alternative? Actually, no, I doubt it. Because uh, they're all well, sort no, of in the same just, aisle. Well, weed killer is okay. probably a really, really high nitrate thing because mm. it burns away weeds, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know. There you go. But warfarin is actually... But rat prob- poison poisons could, rats. You could probably take a really small amount of rat poison and be all right. Should we give it a go next hatch? I think we should. <laughs> um, we'll get involved. Get stuck in. Yep. Go, go nuts on I, some rat poison. poison. Any other factual information about poisons that we've got uh, on hand? Foxgloves are in your garden. They're poisonous? Well, if you eat them, the flowers, they'll thin your blood enough to make you die, yeah. Um, well, they're all blood thinning things. Carbon monoxide, mate. What's the poison that was used in Romeo and one, Juliet? It's a big killer. I have no idea. I don't think they even state it. It's, it's a fictional word. It's just a poison. Trot. It's just <laughs> it's not it's real. a little vial of it could poison. Be based on fact, though. What? Romeo and Juliet? Well, maybe no, it's the, the poison. Trot. Maybe it's oh, cyanide. Well. No, because she went to sleep and then she woke up. Didn't She didn't die. No, she didn't take the she poison. She didn't take it, though, Trot. Pay attention to the fucking story, mate, first. Oh, yeah. Before you yeah, start making right. wild accusations towards a age-old story. Yeah. Hmm. It was Idiot. quite old. You're right there. She went to sleep. And then, what, he poisoned himself because... He thought, Jesus. No, he stabbed himself. my ride home. Yeah, he stabbed himself. Sorry, she did take the poison. No, no, she didn't originally. She did, and then she woke up. No, no, but she hadn't taken the poison. When she woke up, she hadn't actually taken it. And mm. then she woke up to find that he was dead, and then she drank it to kill herself. Oh, uh, well. Either we've, that or the other way around. We've got a huge Romeo and Juliet fans out there. Yeah. Honestly, um, I could really do with like some sort of, you know, get a whiteboard out and start giving me some timelines and some illustrations about how this happened in the film, mm. because I'm I'm lost, I'm baffled. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Romeo was Juliet's Go dad, mm-hmm. right? And Wait, twenty what? years Wait, before what? she was born, Jesus, she gave birth to Romeo as well. Okay. Okay. Jesus. okay. So, so there's so two Romeos like in, incestual... in a chronological time lord flux. So there's a a wormhole. Go on. Um, 20 years before the wormhole existed, there was a wormhole. Yeah. Right. And then that created the wormhole in the fifth dimension. Wait, okay. Okay. And that's where Romeo and Juliet are as a... In the fifth dimension? No, as a Siamese twin. People... Uh, Jesus. Well, that's really far. That's like... That's really dark and weird. And I don't like it. Trump. I don't like can it. We, can we not fund this one? I'm, I'm putting it out. Well, that's yeah. just a fact, though, guys. There's no film for this one. People in the comments keep on telling me to open my eyes, but they are open. <laughs> 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 People keep telling me to open my eyes, but they are actually. I'm actually they're wider than normal, which is strange. <laughs> open your eyes, Smith. <laughs> open your fucking eyes. Why are your eyes so closed and squinted? That's the they're best open. Ever. <laughs> they're open. <laughs> I just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. What? Oh my god. That's <laughs> okay. so the Smith, fucking open your eyes. Open and I'm your like, eyes. Well, they are open. Open as wide as I can. Also, get there's Lake hashtags on. Smith for 1D. Um, any thoughts about the Zane? One Direction thing? I think he's a, a bit of a prick. 
to yeah. be honest. <laughs> Why? Because he's walking away well, from all that know, cash. I don't. I don't. I didn't really care about one D to begin with. But like, I, I feel like if it's like it's like saying if one of us <laughs> decides to leave Hat Films and then go, you know, I just want to have a normal life, you know, without the hassle of what I just did before, yeah. and then starting your own fucking YouTube channel. And then trying to build it up again. Oh, wait, like, is he starting another music? He literally, cl- yeah, basically, he, well, um, with some guy. He's called, done a Robbie Williams, mate. Almost, but he did it three days after instead of left it a little bit longer. Right. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it just seemed like quite a dick move, really. Because he literally, he literally, well, his, I guess his PR told him. This is the first I've heard of this. Yeah, I, I guess the PR said, oh, you know, let's, let's play it I've down. read a lot just, into this, Ross. Just say, yeah, I, I, I read shit all the time. Mm. Um, I think the PR just said, um, Oh, I've lost my train of thought now. Uh, like, play it down. Play the oh, he wanted video. to be, no, yeah, he wanted to be a normal 22-year-old. That was right. it. I just want to be a normal 22-year-old, you know, hang out with his girlfriend, do whatever. Uh, and then, yeah, three days later. Same you can't release. be normal once you've been in One Direction. Well, no, you can't yeah. be, but, like, you could at well, least get out of the limelight. Ex- yeah. But, however, this is He's going to still be game. swamped on the streets and who's whatnot. He, who's he making a band with? Uh, he's not making a band, but he made a track with a guy called Naughty Boy. So he doesn't want to be a normal 22. He wants to go solo. He wants to go solo, yeah. Or like Basically, perhaps make different it. kinds of music. Because that's, that's one of the probably, big things. Probably, yeah, probably. Like, I knew a guy who did, um, eight, like years ago, it was either Pop Idol or I think it was X Factor, actually. Yeah. And he got down to like the final 50 of mm-hmm. X Factor. But like, just wasn't he the just right style. hated the music. Yeah. Like, he, he went in doing like, I don't know, it was like Swing or something. And it was back when, before, like now with the talent contest, there's like lots of more probably choice of music now yeah. but like back then it was just like we just want to make another pop star like you know they just want to make another yeah, like yeah, yeah. um will young or whatever you want to call it and he was just like yeah i just i just quit because i i didn't want to sing the music they asked us to sing i was just like yeah, yeah fair enough because like it must suck to because i mean all the guys in 1d obviously can sing like well, I, I presume they it's can just sing. They, yeah it's the, just you gotta singing. make that kind of music and that must fucking suck because like yeah it you know you people's music taste taste changes yearly and if you can't make the kind of music you want to make then i don't know Sorry, mate. Could you open your eyes? <laughs> just, just uh, actually. Although to be honest, all the cash, I probably play whatever music they wanted me to play. I guess. Um, yeah, I guess he got enough, and then I was like, oh, because like okay, oh, stepping off the private jet, and, like is. you know, working for two hours in an evening, and then you know. Well, I'm being, sure it's probably more than that. It's like it's like when someone says we don't do any work, and it's like, yeah, what? well, Fuck I mean, you. sound checking and stuff like that. But you know, they they don't they won't be having to rig or anything like that, will they? They'll well, go no, on, check their mics and stuff, and do their maneuvers. It's uh, probably just it's the travel though. Is what takes you out of? Oh, yeah, that fucking like traveling, getting up at fucking four a.m. to travel to another place, and then just always being up and about. But none yeah, of but there's a lot of direction. cash involved, though, Ross. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of money involved. And you know you've got you know. Would you do it? Would you be fans. in one D? Would you take Zane's place? Yeah, I'd be uh, in there. Not in now. Well, not now. I reckon I've got the voice for it. No, let's say do you, you want a little. If I was good at singing, no, uh, try, nobody, no. If you were a singer, <laughs> no, 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 like just yeah, it's the perfect scenario. If you know, you... you'd fit in the band fine. You can sing as well as everyone in there. Like you know, you could just walk into it. Would you? Would you do it? That's what I'm saying. Would you be Zayn Malik? I don't think I would. Um... Yeah, no, I would. Yeah, no, yeah. I think I would. Okay, right. okay. Why not? Sweet. Trot? Why you, wouldn't you? Why, 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 why wouldn't you? Trot actually it, tried to audition. It depends. Then. It depends on what, what you've um, got going on at the time. Uh, can we not it? talk about One Direction because it makes me very upset? <laughs> <laughs> Trigger uh, warning. Trigger warning for Trot. Trigger warning for Trot. Zane Malik. Trying to hold it back. <laughs> okay, well, there's, there's, <laughs> there's hold that. Hold <laughs> Weird 1D section. Yeah. Um, really Let's go to, to 50 to move to the next section. Okay, guys, grab my arms. Up we go. Okay. It's the funny news section. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be so funny. funny oh, everything's going to be hilarious in oh, this section. I'm going to laugh my I think it's quite off. a pretentious category title. Because it might not be funny. Yeah. Like half the stories you read, Trump. Are you laughing yet? So a lot of these aren't funny. It's like, it's like, like, a, make, I, like very rarely are the funny It's getting harder to find funny, funny stuff. The is, world, is the world getting less funny? That yeah. is a question. You <laughs> say that. That's right. I think is you're the right. World getting I'm not less finding funny. Very, very funny things. I mean... Most of the stuff in the funny news section where I normally look are now just morbid mm-hmm. and very kind of questionable. Here's some there's funny news. There's one here news. which is Grandma accidentally poisons family with hot cocoa that expired 25 years ago. Okay, there's a, there's a funny element in there, but she well, it poisons she her entire family. Hot. Like, as in, it, it says hot cocoa. I mean, if it was 20 years, it wouldn't have been hot the entire time, surely. Not unless, like, somebody dropped... Well, like, no, it expired like, 25 years because she used... Look, let's not... Let's not, let's not I just think my headline doesn't work, in my doesn't, opinion. doesn't work. What's, What's your headline? Fair enough. The headline was Grandma accidentally poisons family with hot cocoa that expired 25 years ago. She obviously just got it from a, like a, a tin or something. Well, they could have just said <laughs> co- cocoa. Or like, this isn't know. funny. <laughs> no, that wasn't a funny story. Oh. That was, my point was, it was if anything's morbid because yeah. she poisoned her entire family. Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, it's kind of funny that, that she kind still of has sucks. a 25 year old. You know, Can we all get everyone's around, titles but, for their news? Yeah. Just as a little oh, preview. Let, let me find your the one, one I gave you, you. Gave me because I've got three to choose from now because I gave one to Ross. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Um, so Smith, what's yours? I got one, mate. Yeah, Can we good, vote on the ones that you, you, you want to do? Actually, yeah, I'll do mine. No, uh, no, no, you do no, yours. You I'll do, yours. do mine. Trump. You do yours. You do yours. This I'm not sure. Right. Oh, oh fucking what? That's, what the fuck? I can hear it. Website started playing it. Okay, right. Here's a lawsuit with a bite. Shut up. Um, right. Woman scoffs 20 Cadbury cream eggs in just 10 minutes. So there's apparently 20. this thing called the cream egg challenge yeah. where you eat 20 within 10 minutes. And fuck me. 20, the amount of sugar. Within how long? Within 10 minutes. Oh. And I uh, like, dude, I. That's two a minute. First of all, I think I could do it. But I two think a minute it, is doable. Yeah, but it's just. just no. I, I don't like cream eggs. It's like Centurion, with. though, isn't it? Like with the shots. Like, it's just, you're eating fucking 20 cream eggs as well. Wow. That's two a minute. Yeah, however you quantify it, that's twenty. Like, there's a bowl. They're, I mean, no, they're not e- like they're not that easy to eat. In I'm terms actually of, they're quite hard. They're, they're bit, you got to like really bite into them and like yeah. and, and twenty of them. Fuck. I've right. got a technique. Okay, hold on. Right. You've got, got a technique. Yeah. yeah. What's your technique? You bite off the top. Get your tongue in straight away. Oof. Like uh, lo- like a dog. You know how a dog laps up water. Yeah, 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 I'm like in there straight away. Yeah. Just cleaned out. Yeah, cleaned out of the out. juicy gooey goodness inside uh, and then I'm just chowing down like a velociraptor on the outside <laughs> like a velociraptor like a, do, you, do your like best a, velociraptor like we don't actually have now do a velociraptor trying to gather up moving. nearby velociraptors oh, that's what? a nice face you heard them in the you know um, in the in the film where he's like <laughs> you know like the sound he <laughs> I makes I don't remember that blows. sound oh, so man, in Jurassic Park 3 <laughs> or 2 he makes a, a cast of the velociraptor's like nasal communication cavity and he blows oh, yeah, he blows, blows through, through it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, those documentaries were the best. Documentary? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a joke. Well, right, the... I get it. Uh, <laughs> woman scoffs 20 Cadbury's cream eggs. Just Google that. With and What happens? It's on the mirror. She fucking does it. But, like, she I just want you guys it. to see. Is it filmed? The... Yeah, it's filmed. And it's a bowl oh, of eggs. Like, I mean, I do not want to give the mirror's website traffic, but you should go and see this. Um, bowl of eggs. Uh, Maybe it's somewhere I mean, else, that, too. That, that magazine is trash. I mean, is it a paper? I don't know. Red tops. They're all play just, just absolute trash. Oh, um, yeah, and um, it's disgusting Ugh. and uh, but amazing at the same time. And you know that's what I really like when something disgusts me. But then I can she eats them whole, like just. Bleh. I, well, I mean, you can see watch it. Emma like scoff to any cream eggs. I want you to explain to people minutes. that can't see it. Oh my god, this woman! I mean, it's a woman with a fucking massive just, bowl of cream eggs. She's got, no, she's got a fucking. Yeah, but how's she eating them? Is she, how's she getting the foil off? Um, this is a really un- important. She unwraps them, bites the top off, and then puts the second part in her mouth. That's how it works. Are there any worthwhile sound bites, or is I just not bother playing mm. that? Uh, her just going. Mm. Oh, oh. No, I really want to hear the no, sound. Of, hear the sound of that. Uh, let's be a honest. A woman eating twenty yeah, cream no, eggs. I just sounds... think they're so sugary. The fondant inside. Yeah, well, is I mean, overkill. to eat that many. Have I told yeah. you guys my technique? Because I think I could be the in a chance to technique. beat the shit out of this one. The, the famed the, velociraptor the technique. The famed velociraptor technique. Yeah, you did have that. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like that. <laughs> it's sort of one swift, one swift motion, and it's all like my tongue is like encased. By the cream egg yep. shell, mm-hmm. and I'm just roaming around like a velociraptor. Yep. Yeah, I've also got a costume on, but I'm going to challenge you to that, Trump. I'm not going to give away all my secrets, am I? Right. Ross, what's your funniest news today? I think I could eat ten in ten minutes. You think? But not twenty. Should we do a challenge? Ten in ten minutes would be easy. Yeah. But yeah, I'm being I mean, stupid. You still feel no, I mean, I'm being stupid. Afterwards. I'm being stupid. Don't just don't suggest. I won't suggest. So, so I think I could eat one in one minute. I'll, yeah. I think I give it one in one minute. Mate, if, if G- fucking up, the Christmas the live streams taught us anything, you are a terrible competitive eater. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> it, I do better than you. So yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah. like a lot smaller. Yeah. Exactly. Which worries me about my it's health. Stop I've got a small throat, guys. <laughs> I, I can't you don't challenge things. yourself. That you got you got to see past that. As a as a professional, um, a professional. Yeah. you yeah. you literally just swallow as hard as you can and just don't yeah. worry about choking. That's how. That's, <laughs> and that's, people, I can drink. I'm for life there. I can drink things really quickly. And people are like, oh, you open your throat, right? No, I just literally swallow the entire contents of my mouth in one and just fucking. Don't go worry about choking. Don't worry about choking. I guess that's what I've been missing out. I've got, I've got too much of a fear of death. Choking. Yeah. Choking, you yeah. won't choke, mate. I've got the Heimlich down. Yeah. You've got it down, have you? Yeah. He's really good at that. I don't, really really I don't know why he needs to know it. But my, my life in your hands. Because of you. Don't trust, that. <laughs> don't trust that in the slightest. Well, I mean, Swiss, like, dislocating his jaw, loss. trying to fit um, a whole cream egg down. I'm like a freaking anaconda when it comes to eating <laughs> <mate. laughs> I come in and there's just a whole deer inside me. Do you remember that... Um, the shape of a deer? That scene in The Mask Go on. where his jaw goes out and he eats a gun. Yep. It's like you. That's you. See, I saw that and thought, why doesn't he just eat all the guns? Like... 
it takes there's a while, some ridiculous it? powers he has. Yeah. yeah. And they just don't seem to most address is, the fact that those powers most are just, is a comedy though, isn't it? They're so OP. It's, it's almost like it's it is a comedy, comedy, isn't it? I mean again, yeah. I'd love to see some of the documentaries these days are over the top. Like Lost World. Ross, you I, I don't I can keep going with that one. The documentary thing. It's, it's got it's got legs. I have <laughs> Okay. Um right, next section next part. What was uh, about? I've got a story, right. apparently. Let's hope this one has legs. Let's hope this one has legs. Here this was go. donated to me by Trot. Idiot man thinks Thanks, Jurassic Trot. Park is documentary. Man takes Pizza Life. Hut to court over excessively hard crouton. Yeah. What's a crouton, Thanks, Ross? Trot. What's a crouton? It's something you put in um, soup, is it? Why like is that a Pizza little... Hut? Who's eating croutons at Pizza Hut Maybe for one? Maybe all from the salad bar. You put them in Who gets a salad at the Pizza is, Hut? Is this a case where you thought it was stupid, but it's actually not No, I just, got, to... I just gave you the shittest, you gave me the shittest one, thank news you. ever. That's yeah. fine, that's fine. But he's suing someone for um, that. It's crazy. It says, well, well, for Christ's sake. Break your tooth or something. Sorry, the website is AOL. <laughs> uh, it says, here's a lawsuit with bite. <laughs> literally. Oh, God. America Online. Ugh. Jesus. You have mail. Okay. A Tennessee man took pizza to court over what he called an excessively hard crouton. Uh, Everett Chapman of Harriman, no, Tennessee... No, I'll put my foot down here. I don't want to hear this. I, I'm was sorry. eating a, I don't uh, care about the hard pizza crouton. when he allegedly <laughs> broke a partial denture. Yeah, I can imagine. he bitten to a crouton. <laughs> yep. yep. I can imagine a hard thing would a break A crouton? Yeah. Can you believe a crouton? I can't be believe it, Ross. It's absurd. This is hilarious. God, bloody hell. Either way, he fucking won the court case. Okay. $2,400. Nice. <laughs> The price of his dental store, I presume. What news? Yeah, I'm not... I reckon you can make up something better. Okay. Well, of course, anyway, of course, you can make up, up something news. better. Crazed panda drives fire engine into shopping center. <laughs> well, that, oh my god, that's that amazing! That's what I want to hear about. A panda driving. Tell me more. I can't. That's amazing. Where did it happen? Uh, Bristol. When? Right now. It's oh, happening. Now. It's happening we should now. leave and go and look at it. <laughs> look around. It's um, happening around you. Right, Trot. What's yours? Come on. All right. So I've big got finish. Three here. So pick it based exactly on the title. Count. Give us some titles. Yeah, go on. All right. Couple offers $60 cuddle session for touch-deprived strangers. Nope. Nope. Utah man arrested after damaging over 30 headstones so dead could be resurrected. Um, kind of interesting. Father thinks he's having a stroke after eating daughter's marijuana brownies. That sounds pretty funny. I <laughs> like, But I mean, just, it's probably just like, oh, I'm having... No, you're not. You're just quite high. Yeah. It's like when uh, John That's Snow pretty much on the um, story there. Channel 4, like, it's just huffed up a load of fucking skunk did he on um live on tv and oh yeah he just really shell shocked <laughs> like, there's, there's this one, stuff. i don't feel out of my body there was this south american article recently that i read where like they burnt three and a half tons of marijuana right, right just like on a hill near their office and so the, the and downwind the entire town really really high and they had like loads of nine Jesus. one one calls um about people feeling dizzy and sick and in reality they were just really fucking like Blaze. Yeah. Um, but anyway, nice. do the headstone one because we can see where the other one's going. All right. So, Payson, Utah. A man is in custody after allegedly damaging more than 30 headstones because he thought. Sorry, is that Ross Kemp? It would, yeah. He's, I think it sounds like Ross it's Kemp. It's weird that Ross Kemp, Kemp is doing this. Is Ross Kemp there? He thought it would make it easier for the deceased to be resurrected. <laughs> Police told KSTU 36-year-old Spencer Robinson was arrested after knocking over more than 30 gravestones Oof. at the Payson City Cemetery Monday night. According to the cemetery, some of the damaged stones are more than 100 years old and may not be... Re- That's quite sad, mm. really. So he's going around, laughing. going nuts, smashing over headstones. Like man needs help. What do you reckon is going through his head to think that... You know, you know, if they're going to rise from the dead, don't want to hit their head on the headstone, so get that out of the way. That's probably what's going through his head. Yeah, but he's just smashing them. He's not, like, removing them. He's just smashing them down. Is that, like, does he think that they're a a a binding curse so that the the headstone is to unlock the person? You know what? Maybe he's right. Why would it be the headstone? Why why, why wouldn't you just go all out and, like, literally start dicking them up and then open the... Dicking them up? And they're opening the coffin. I don't think like, he wants to be. I think he just wants to help along the way. He's oh, got his he's, place. He's, he's done his part. He's, he's done his somebody part. Else then he's, step in. He's not pay the, it forward. Do the rest of he it. He hasn't got the he's, crap job. He's got the smashing headstones job. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much that one. Right, Officers then. had to force their way into his house and wrestle him to the ground <laughs> to handcuff him. Because he was, about to, he was about to bloody smash their face Wait, in. just give it a moment. <laughs> I'm going to wrestle him. I swear they're going to come up any minute now. The guy climbs up onto like one of the nearby sofas and just jumps on him. <laughs> <laughs> Suplex. Wrestled. Um, officers say Robinson has a possible mental health condition. <laughs> Possibly. No shit. Possibly. Who'd have thought? All right, well, that was good. 
Um, should, we, should we do a couple of updates? I've got... Okay, you don't want to hear another them. story. No, uh, I want to hear another story. You don't want to hear it. I don't know. I, 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 sometimes they're funny. Sometimes. My story was so shit, we need another story. Okay. Uh, there is a link here saying, Teacher made pupils cue for sex in her home. What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, now that's an interesting story. <laughs> go for that one. Oh, man. Okay, make wait. pupils queue up in her home. It says, well, like this is part of the marijuana thing. It said, sex more. restaurant. <laughs> A former math teacher has described how she would make students queue in her home to have sex with her while her husband was away. Jesus. She admitted to having the sex with fuck? several students at the high school in Virginia, <laughs> saying it made her feel attractive and wanted. Yeah, just queue, God, up. Just queue, queue up. up by the kitchen Jeez. over there. Orderly some line, shit. please. Uh, there's some snacks on the side. Some Jacob's crackers. Some snacks. Uh, help yourself. But, some uh, shit snacks. It's so dry. Like some comic books. Use some mouthwash before we get good. You know, it's I don't like want to like a waiting all over room, the, maybe all yeah. over the bed. Set up a, a waiting room. Actually, now now we're going to do it like PE. Okay, so there's going to be two lines, and I'm going to pick people. <laughs> pick teams, everyone. All right, pick teams. This next yeah. event's going to be tricky. Uh, she's also a volleyball coach. I don't know why they mentioned that. Uh, how she would invite multiple students to a house while her husband was away and Jesus. have them wait their turn in the basement while she Christ, had sex with another so one upstairs. Sorted. So sordid. Yeah. It's nuts. But she was not preying on people who had no interest in participating. <laughs> okay, more, more importantly, the try, again, what was it like there at the time? Oh, it was all right. Um, yeah. She did have a lot of Jacob's crackers, too which many. was nice. Was too many? Do you have some mm. cheese? Where was this? Was this in America or in Yeah, in Virginia, USA. Oh, sorry, yeah, you said that, yeah. Virginia. Yeah. Nice. It was all right. Was all right. Um, she put on a. She had some cushions down in the basement, but it was a bit damp. Mm-hmm. Damn, um, sex itself didn't get there didn't get picked you didn't get picked no. <laughs> not picked for the team didn't she, get picked she saw you I think she was tr- maybe saying for the best of us but she was too tired by that point because there was said, like 20 you know guys in front of me mm-hmm. uh, and I thought you know fair enough fair save enough. me for another day because I'm special mm-hmm. I understand yeah. I get it. Never got a callback. The Never, audition? No. Yeah, the audition yeah. before you I mean, decide. she's probably very busy, guys, in jail. Very busy. So, in jail, exactly. Yeah. For uh, some weird... Call me. Call me. Very weird situation. Uh, it's fine. She doesn't have my number either, so... What's the name? Oh, that sounds like a dodged bullet there, Trot. <laughs> sounds nice, though. That's, oh, Christ. I just had a lot of crackers, so I had a great time. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't really dry mouth, though. It wasn't hungry when he finished. <laughs> no water. So. Plenty of milk to go around there, wasn't there? Sort you, ever the done the Jacob's, walls. <laughs> you ever done the Jacob's Cracker Challenge? Before we... Just keep stuff and crackers until you have to drink something. Mm. It's really hard to swallow after a while. Well, yeah. At what point would you have done that? Is that an event or do you just, just do it with a, a couple of friends? You're just, like, just munch all of these as much fast well, as possible. It's just a thing though, isn't it? You see some Jacob crackers in Tesco's mm-hmm. and you're like, it's on. It's happening right He's now. He's going to go home, look in the mirror and go, I'm not me, with me versus you. I'm not with anyone. <laughs> I'm on my own. I'm with my mum, all right? I'm with my mum. And I see the Jacob's crack, so I'm like, fucking, it's on, bitch. Let's do this. <laughs> there no, and then. Let's get out that shit like the cookie monster. <laughs> this is enough, Trot. <laughs> oh, should we call you Chris? No. Um, so, yeah, that's oh, that. Trot. This is my life. It's horrible. <laughs> horrible you... boy you are. <laughs> Weird. Well, if I'm not in a basement of some volleyball teacher or math student, then uh, I'm, cracker munching I'm maniac. having J- Jacob Cracker <laughs> cracker challenges. munching maniac. That's the hatch out title. Cracker maniac. Never I heard about one. Yeah, you're Chris a, cracker- a huge cracker maniac. Maniac. Jacob's. Jacob's. Well, that's not Jacob's branded. Crackers. That's not. Well, know. it is branded because I like them well, the best, Ross. Fine. Fair enough. That's, you know, I can't <laughs> and really we're sponsored that. by them. We're not sponsored by them. We're not sponsored by anyone. Oh, this is not sponsored. If, if you want to sponsor Audible. us, please contact us now. We're not sponsored by them either. Don't Free, say that, Audible, don't say that now because you're don't give doing them, them a favour. Though I have been using Audible recently not, and it's a very good service. <laughs> What's going on? Shut let's up, Jot. You can't. Let's not. Because it's the only service that I'd ever used for Audible books. They haven't paid us a penny. Books. Um, a penny. We're, we're, we're missing out. They're gaining from this. Is there any alternatives, actually? Of course there is. Yeah, there are, yeah. Are they better? <laughs> well, we don't know. Maybe they can contact us and find out. So, um, I found out uh, that it's very convenient to use my Amazon account on Audible mm-hmm. because they are part of the company. All right, man. Well, let's not... Again, let's stop, stop blowing the trumpet. Of <laughs> potential spo- the potential fucking- sponsors. Sound the air horns. We're not getting a penny for Drown this. me out. <laughs> Prompt. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's, let's travel late. to the next section. Let's get on to that weird... Uh, balloon bag situation we've created and uh, <laughs> travel <laughs> well you end we're prematurely oh, no, ending it I was just very like greasy really wants to end okay. no, it gives, it gives me the, it, are you holding on to the I think the your, your balls are sweating huh? oh they're, they're dripping a bit it's very slippery oh no it's hard to hold oh, on oh god cover your mouth it stinks it's like a giant brain that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, horrible oh, oh. Jesus so smells like a vinegar factory <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> well well oh. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> there it is. I forgot you had that power. There's the cue, Trot. There it is. Hello. What are we in now? Updates. Oh, too distracted. Sorry, by, uh... Jesus. So this is uh, updates. <laughs> can, you, can we get that again? Updates. <laughs> yeah. So this is updates of what we're, we've been up to and what's going to happen really soon. Go on. Uh, we'll nip through these. So we're going to the Gadget Show Live. If you don't want the Gadget Show, is Gadget Show Live. It's a TV show on. On Official British terrestrial television. Uh, it's in Birmingham, isn't it? I haven't watched it in years, Trot. Well, it's, don't, don't worry, because there's a convention. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going there. We're going there on the 10th of April. Fuck, I hate the gadget show. Sorry. <laughs> on Friday. Hate it, just don't watch it. So, We're going on Friday to the gadget show convention. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm impartial to the <laughs> show. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, Why we're are you crying <laughs> like a baby all of a sudden? That was the most <laughs> random thing ever. There's still tickets available. Um, to the after hours show. Go on. Yes. Um, where... Hey, well, this is a plug. This is a fucking cheeky well, plug. It's an update. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a, not, this oh, is a oh, cheeky one fucking plug. Fucking minute here, If I can't do well, Audible. <laughs> no, not... you can't do Audible. No one's paying us. Anyway, yeah, plug away. Well, this is us. I'm, we're allowed plug to, right? Plug away, Trot. We're allowed to. Well, it's still happening and we're still going. There's an after hour, hour tickets where we're going to be there from 2 p.m. in the exhibitors hall signing shit with Lewis, who's now going. Ooh. Lewis from Yorks Cast. Duncan, Shin, Kim, Hannah, and Terps. So we're doing signings from 2 till 4.30. There's going to be some merch. <laughs> oh, it's uh, the new White Hand of Truth t-shirt. Oh! Oh, is that a new Hand but of Truth I've t-shirt? heard there's going to be some exclusive gold ones there it's too, which be- you can't oh, buy that's anymore. That's the last place you can get them. Ever. Uh, Shit. And then Maybe somebody so should exclusive. buy all of them and then, and then sell, sell them on the market. That's what yeah, I don't... Do. Well, don't. I'm going to sign them all. I'm well, it doesn't really matter if they buy them all. I mean, that's um, fine. But like, you know. Oh yeah, we'll be on stage at 5 p.m. Uh, doing some stuff. <laughs> uh, Smith's got this crazy ping pong drip with his butt, which is amazing. I get up on stage and just pop them out. And it makes yeah. like a. He he demands silence amazing. in the oh, auditorium. One of them's got a tiny silence. Duck. One of them. You just hear a little pop. One of them's got a tiny duck drawn on them, and if you find the one with a duck, then you get to push it up. And if you catch mask. it in your mouth, you gain a, a bonus prize. Bonus prize. Yeah. Hold it in your mouth for at least 10 seconds. Yeah, it's quite hard to do. I've tried it. Stinks. It's really horrible. But anyway, yeah, we'll be on stage at five. We will have like a segment where we all come on. So we're, I think we're on first. Much like a Terry's chocolate orange. So make sure you get there at five, otherwise you'll miss Lots us. Lots of tasty segments. Uh, and then we get like 20, 30 minutes. Terps comes in rudely, stakes over the stage, steals the limelight for a bit, and then it goes to the next person. Uh, then we're going to be throwing shit out. It's going to be prizes and giveaways. Smith's going to throw his thong out there. It's going to be insane. I don't own it. It's going to be a great day. I don't have one of those. All right, it's my thong. I put uh, my hands up. It's who mine. That? Dirty. It's the one we. That, that had t-shirt idea reminded me of um, when we were at the Interstellar thing, and there was a guy just scalping tickets. Oh really? He's like Interstellar tickets. Interstellar tickets. He was. He was. Re- he looked like your typical scalper. Long raincoat. What is that? <laughs> what is the typical? Like trench coat. Okay. In case anybody else got a scalper, is the person that buys tickets before you go into a show yeah. and sells them to Thanks, I've never heard that before. Yeah, well, you might not. But other people, you know, might not be. Oh, no, no, I'm saying I've, I've never heard you that. Prick! Oh, right. oh you weren't actually being sarcastic. No, I, was, I genuinely didn't know. So, <laughs> right. thanks. All right, all right, Jesus. They're also well, called ticket touts. Ticket touts, yeah. Uh, either way, uh, he was out there and he was just kind of under his breath, like near people. He was like... Instead of tickets. Instead yeah, he said it really, like, quietly as he walked by. I was like, was like that's, a, that's a fucking scalper. The thing is, though, like... Outside it, of, like, quite a prestigious event, it's like, Royal Albert Hall. I think yeah. this guy is just... It's not a fucking average, you know, football match or anything. Jesus. He probably no. had a lot of cash. This guy. A lot of cash in him. Probably He's taking advantage of a him. beautiful scenario. He didn't look strong. Taking a m- we paid. massive advantage, yeah. He better had a taser on him, because I would have mugged him any other day. You would have what? I would have mugged him any other day. You would have mugged him for I his cash. Albert Hall, mate. And all tickets. I said, ooh, you scalping, you probably got a lot of cash on I would have taken all his tickets and sell them for him. Right in the face. But boom, there's my ticket now. <laughs> tickets! Tickets! <laughs> <laughs> Who wants tickets? Until the next just bigger perpetual. guy comes along. Yeah. yeah. The circle of <laughs> Oh, no. You're going to muck me, aren't you? I know you're going to muck me. Boom! <laughs> Tasered. Bow! <laughs> Shit! Good luck. Um, <laughs> Good luck out there. I, I admire your audacity. I only want tickets. Better. Um... The other update is we pass our 800,000 subscribers. Woo! And to celebrate, we... Yeah. That actually works. That works. works. Yeah, that really that works. works. Okay. All right, don't... Had that to ruin it, didn't you? Had all, to ruin it. It also fucking works. It's a great achievement. Um, okay, so... 
we reach Angel. Thank you so much. That's amazing. It is incredible. And we thank released you. a Filthy Animals video to thank you guys for that. It's yep. an incredible achievement. We're at 806,000 now, I think. So it's ramping up. If you could all get us to a million, that would be great. I mean, that's cool. it's not all too these people much are already here. If, if you, who in no way can contribute to it. Yeah, if you've sure. somehow never heard of us and you're watching us live. Tell people, make your parents subscribe. <laughs> Don't make your parents subscribe. They won't bloody watch us and they'll stop you from watching us. That's for sure. <laughs> that's true don't make your parents watch your content set everybody's it's home page and every device you ever come across as the Hat Films YouTube home page yes that would that actually is, help that is great advice <laughs> and I encourage that so okay. uh, tweet us uh, the proof and yes. you might get a retweet might uh, the word that's amazing. might is there if I see it thousand people can you can you imagine that in? that in a room so the Wrestlemania right uh, had a crowd capacity of 70,000 oh my god really that is that a looks huge, huge from Wait, the picture what the what? That was the set, WrestleMania like seventy six thousand people could fit in that stadium. Eight hundred thousand people have clicked a button to subscribe 000. to us. It's sorry, it's crazy, isn't it? Which is not as much. WrestleMania effort. one, the yeah. one with the, where the Terminator, Holy that shitty shit. Terminator Triple H thing. So more than ten times that number. Yeah, that number. That's eight hundred thousand people. That's crazy. I wish we could sell out like a show where everybody came. Not, well, we, I mean, well, yeah, I guess sure. they attended. Not what and paid traveling well, expenses, you know, so that everyone could make it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or just have a YouTube live stream. Yeah, or each one of you just give us one dollar, and then we will make fuck you off. a video. We'll do a Zayn Malik and fuck off. Well, n- well, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. No, be. you know what we will, <laughs> and then we'll start up another we'll give one. Us a dollar, and we'll start another, another one, channel with some other we'll, guy we'll, uh, called then, Naughty Boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and then, then we'll bloody take the piss and spit in the face of our fans. And Katy no, Perry we, we made forty million dollars last year. Wow! So they, like, fair play to her. One D like probably made more than that though. Is that based on more. tour sale tickets? Yeah, I think um, they, they were getting like at least ten ten million each a year. What is that from? from? Like, that was from their, like a couple of years ago. Is I that... think it's kind of crazy that they still don't make as much as footballers. Like no. they are like literally the most refined money making machine. You see that? I was actually shocked at the um, the music's so cheap. Like um, yeah. Jeremy Clarkson and, and stuff, their their fees that they were, they were charging when football tickets aren't cheap. Or so. It was like a million a year, yeah. and it's just like it seems so strange. Like when you know someone like Peter Pie is getting way more than that, yeah. yeah. And it's just like you know who Jeremy Clarkson and Top Gear, you know all I that get, stuff. But then again, I he Peter Pro probably makes but like more money I think, than I think Top that's Gear the does. BBC though, isn't it? Well, I think also Top Gear probably. I think Top Gear maybe turns over about forty to fifty million pounds a year. Yeah, but he doesn't see all that. He sold huh? the he sold the rights to it. He doesn't see that. Who? Um, oh no, no, of course not. No, I'm saying Lyrics. that. Oh, like, yeah, sure. In order to produce overall... the whole show and you know pay everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Their their payroll is probably only like five million or whatever, but their production costs are probably I don't know. I have no idea how much production would cost, but a fucking lot. Yeah, it would. Do. You know, um, I don't know. I can see where it all goes. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. There oh, you what's go. going on, Trump? What's wrong? Oh, what's it on your mouth? He's, he's got something in his mouth. For anyone who's listening. That? It's just oh, right. a piece I of thought you were pulling it out cable yeah. or something he's found. <laughs> Weird. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching that. And we, we made the Filthy Annals video. We haven't done Filthy Annals in ages. Um, no, that when was When was the last weird. time we did one? Like, Fucking ages. Was it Christmas it's special? It's a Christmas special in 2013. Oh, Jesus. So two years. Oh, so we did do Filthy Mods a little bit. But yeah, we did really Filthy Mods. Animals. But yeah, I mean, the characters were still alive. Uh, a lot of people complained that we didn't have Jeff in there. Um, that's because we, we kind of considered it as a short little promo thing that we wanted he to show you guys. He doesn't need to be in it, all of them. Um, a Otherwise big thank you. So it was very, very quickly his... put together after we got yeah. hit 800k. Also, you guys really overly attached to a very one-dimensional character. Hey, he's got depth. <laughs> he's got depth. <laughs> Explosion. He's three-dimensional. Uh, he's... But yeah, no, that was literally aggressive. just like, hey, let's do something fun to celebrate the 800k thing. And we're like, oh, let's do a quick Filthy Animals thing. And yeah. So and we, we had the server set up, and so we jumped in there. Yeah. And I mean, like, Maybe I think you guys appreciated the fucking crazy visual mods on there now, which are just ridiculous. Aren't they? they look better than the Christmas ones. The Christmas ones yeah. look very blurry. Well, and the horrible. Christmas ones weren't really very specialized, were they? They were just. Yeah. Sort of it like... was the same Sonic Ethers. It was just a weird patch, the way it oh, looked okay. weird. Um, but yeah. We've got, like, custom shader settings, uh, focus settings, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah. JR did those. They're amazing. Thanks, so we JR. can set depth of field, not based on what you look at, but based on actual depth, mm-hmm. which is great. Um, and it's amazing. Uh, the other thing is our method- methodology of, as Smith said, um, doing something really quick to knock it up and celebrate. We did the same thing for the Hand Truth The Hand Truth took, uh, took a day to film. Took a day to film and, and a day of edit. Uh, and then it was released us that day as well. <laughs> yeah, because we were like, Let's do something special mm-hmm. for the Hand of Truth. Well, basically, um, the merch guys up- upstairs, they, they said, you know what, um, it'd be great if you and they promoted um, this new T-shirt that you're doing. And we're like, yeah, definitely. That'd be, that'd be good fun. And we really like the design. We look like the T-shirt. The gold, the gold came out so nice that we yeah. were like, fuck, this is actually really a, a quality good product that we want to sell. 
Um, and we also wanted a video that's actually entertaining it in and of itself. But the idea was very random. It was very random. Very quick. And we were just like, we grabbed um, uh, the wizard cloak thing that I wore on it's a duvet, um, live stream. Ross. Let's not what, be around the bush. It's a duvet. It's a it's bed not, well, sheet. Oh, it's a bed sheet. Sorry. Oh, no, it was, it was just it's material. It's a cut of black material. Oh, was it? Yeah, you're well, sleeping in things like that. I, I would not want to sleep it was in a, your bed. I sleep in that all the time. material from down the road. Yeah, horrible, it's got... Chop. Are you horrible rag boy? Yeah, that's me. 49. Hey. Oh. Horrible rag boy 49. That user yeah. we do. Christ. 48 of them around. I you're, blocked you, you, remind you because of, of your abuse. He reminds me of Charlie from All Sunny in Philadelphia every day. Like hey. More and more. Chop. Oh, does he? I just feel like, you know, he's just... The incompetence. Not incompetence, just disgusting, wow. you know? Let's throw words out there. Yeah. It's just disgusting. He's well, horrible. disgusting, incompetent. Endearing. But Endearing, there you go. It's horrible. nice. Well, I think between me and Ross, we've got cleaner flats than you, Smith. Well, so. that's because I live with two guys. Well, Myself, Ross lives one, one with one guy. Yeah, one person, half and a one cup. And he has geckos. Yeah, I've got... There's the geckos are going to fill up. There are three reptiles in my They're flat. They're taking over. I think, I think it's those two sofas. We take it over. Anyway, we're getting way beyond that, the that's point. That's not even what we were talking about. We're talking about Hannah Truth. Yeah, so basically we uh, went out on a Thursday um, up to the same field we filmed uh, our take. Sad for parody. good. Sad for good. Um, Different hill, though. And we said, you know what? We'll, we'll just film you walking with a stick. We found a stick very quickly. It snapped in half. Which snapped shoot. in half. <laughs> we it was so it. Like, oh, yeah. said, okay, we're going to this woods. I'll, I'll jump in the woods and find us a stick. Well, There's one. Uh, that one looks all right. Just oh. before we even got into the woods, he was halfway hopping over the fence. We're like, actually, yeah. this will do. Yeah, just there. Uh, that bit, one. Just a bit of dead it was wood. rotten to shit, so it snapped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we had to, just had to go with some takes that we had mm-hmm. already, which was fine. So it took a long shot, a medium shot. We got a latex glove. Over the shoulder shot of the hill. And then we got a latex glove. On the way back. It was my hand, by the way. Some gold Beautiful. spray paint. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, well done. You're the fucking hand I'm performer. The, I'm the hand model. Well done. I'm finally uh, a model as a hand model. We filmed it on Mom. green screen, and then I spent all day editing it, and we found some amazing music, mm-hmm. uh, which was so good. Could never make that kind of stuff. I kind of want that music good to fun. be in something else. It's really good. Like a yeah. Western. And then it was from Audible, Audio Micro, was it? released that day. It was great. Audible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've ruined me. It's yeah, released same day, and then, yeah, you guys... It's a pain bought, in the ass, but did it. The, the, the t-shirt. So thanks for... If you've got one, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I want to I um, want to do more live-action stuff. I yeah, think. we yeah we want to do... That's what When we originally started the channel, that's what we wanted to it's do. It's a real challenge. It, like, sets our creative juices yeah. flowing, and then Smith, in particular, gets really juicy. Not and in a weird way. Um, what do you mean? He gets really juicy. Just... Trot starts eyeing me up. Trot's eyes widen. He looks to the ground. He's cross-eyed. <laughs> I've locked. Um, I'm locked. He's locked. What was going to say? Uh, thanks for the people who are tweeting in pictures of their uh, golden hand t-shirts. Yeah, it's, awesome yeah, to it's nice to You're see. You're rocking it. Um, we'll there's try, there's we'll loads. We sold them. so many. Yeah, yeah. So it's really good that everyone's... It looks really good as well. That is important. Everyone's like, uh, they look really good in their... T- you look really good in your t-shirts, guys. Damn. Got a boner right Damn, now. you look good. Damn. Um, Trot's got a chub 24-7, <laughs> haven't you? Yeah, uh, I split my desk in two yesterday, in fact. Bang! You did? Um, Ow. <laughs> Reckless. <laughs> that was loud. Uh, yeah, so that's 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 great. So should we do some q and Did we explain that we changed it to a white one yet? Oh, yeah. yeah white yeah, so, one's now available so basically, right now. The limited edition one's uh, done now, and that was more expensive because it was actually more expensive to get done because they were gold, the gold print ones. So if you motherfuckers um, don't fucking appreciate that, it's wonderful. So that's why we had to do a limited run. However, we are doing now the standard price ones. A um, lot cheaper. Uh, white. A lot and cheaper. those are on the Yorkscast, uh, store.yorkscast.com. Yeah, if you thought, uh, yeah. And yeah, definitely go get one of those. I love the design. It's like it's like a band t-shirt. Isn't it? If you think the goal was too, a bit much. If you thought or, it was a bit much. Some people thought it was a bit much. And so, some people you know. couldn't afford it. So this is a nice alternative. Alternative, you know? yeah. It's the same price as the other shirts And now. if you're going to the Gadget Show, we'll sign it as well. So bring it along. <laughs> and now we're going to do a live beatbox session because someone just said it in chat. Oh, so Ross, right. kick it off, and Smith's gonna. I'm gonna lay the bass, and then Smith's gonna do some treble <laughs> melodies. Now we're gonna do a segue. Hello, dunk, dunk, da dunk, 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 dunk. That's the same song. It's not changed. No, it wasn't. That's another one. That was dust. Actually, no one bites the dust. Such a good segue. That's not a segue. Okay, bullshit, trot. We've done that. Now it's gonna be made up. Go. You start. Go. All right. Boom. 
<laughs> oh. We transitioned him out. Yeah, we, we transitioned him off. right yeah. out of there, straight into the live Q&A. Oh, don't land in his mouth ass again. You're a nightmare. You can't handle the drop. Okay, fair enough. Ether! The, 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 what? Ether! One says... Are we planning to record a new song in the new future? After just that did performance, one. No. Just did one. We just did one. It's and also, called. maybe we already have stuff recorded, yeah. but we need to do something. Coordinate videos. It requires more coordination. So the answer is yes. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, but then again, like just just randomly recording a song kind of needs to have a reason for doing it. Yeah. So it's not like are you planning? Hey guys, let's record a new song about what? Oh, did it? Well, we just, got just we got about the day we got stuff had. in the pipeline. Yeah, we got so. stuff. Trot's got a problem. It's right in the pipeline. Olivia right Webb in the pipeline, Trot! Olivia Webb at Olivia. What were your guys' first impression of each other? I didn't like Trot at all. Massive prick. Yeah, you just think you see no, him. Tr- no, Trot was alright. He was very quiet when I when I met him at uni. Was I? Yeah. In fact, I remember a specific occasion, um, which Ashman always reminds me of whenever whenever he says he, his first memory of you was when you came down with crimped hair. <laughs> you, had, uh, yeah. you lived with someone um, who um, decided to crimp your hair yeah. uh, like in our first year. Yeah, yeah. So we had like these, this really like I crimped, and then like, the fire alarm like went do- off. Like those dog ears. The fire alarm went off, and no, I got I, I exposed. Can what you mean by crimped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, yeah, it was a fire. A fire alarm went off because they always went off in the first year because everyone loved to just you know vandalize the fire alarm. Nah, fucking times you'd be outside at like four a.m. Yeah, it's, like, it's horrible. And so uh, yeah, that was that was a but you had a good treat. Memory, but yeah, right, but my first memory with you was you were just a bit quiet, and then. Second year, we made fucking beautiful, sweet love. love. Sweet, sweet That's love. Sure sweet like music. Love. First um, time I saw Ross. Yeah. This is really strange. First I was afraid. Like I was petrified. He was petrified. Dating website. Yeah. Kept ad. thinking I could never <laughs> leave without you by my side. <laughs> the first time I saw him. Yeah. Either uh, that was like some sort of horrible obituary. Mm-hmm. Um, you were the recluse <laughs> uh, pissing in the corner all the time. I was like, can't Weird. go near that. Can't go near that. But then had to work with you. And then... Just it was in the stuck. whole. In the, the first time I met you was I was making a fucking ham sandwich in our in my flat, and then you 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 um were doing yeah. like a round of the the local flats. Yeah, and then Ash you all came in whilst I was making some some sandwiches. I didn't I see you like, at all. Ash went like, off right. a beer. Wait, on, you and Ash were in the same flat. In the same, flat, same flat in the hall. Yeah. Did you try yeah. and organise that? Or that just happened. Well, we you were can. in the same uni, and, and we just said, "Oh, like, is it possible to do?" It? That's how you put a recommended friend thing. Oh yeah, you and he who shall not be named also got the same. True. Voldemort. I didn't have that. <laughs> he hooked I, up with I moved Voldemort. with a bunch of random people. The yeah. only, the, I went to uni with a couple of friends, but they were in like the student village, which was just a fucking dive, and I wasn't yeah. going to stay there. You also went to uni a year before <laughs> He's better us. than you. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, also, I took a gap year. Gap year. Gap year. I said the same here, not intentionally. I, I took just, two years, actually. It took me a yeah. while and to realise that year. I wanted to do it. Mm. Yeah. Um, I, I don't really... I don't really I, this, this is more from the first impressions to uni. I think one of the first times I met you, Trot, was in secondary school when like, you were probably just stood outside your form room and I was wondering... You were a really tall, gangly person in year nine. I remember what? that. <laughs> you were particularly gangly yeah. in year nine. And my first gangly. image of you mm-hmm. was striding around the school striding. field. Like, Strider! Like a gazelle. Why? Running up and down. I think it was preparing for like sports day. Like a gazelle. Right. And you were just running around. And also you wore women's clothes at one point with John Oh, Newbury. yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a fun run and I dressed up as a girl. I think you were preparing for that and I saw you just parading around in like love. really tight. And we had a major outfit. chub on. I did. Big old chub on. Okay, right. Uh, a lot of questions were answered that day. Yeah. Um, and it's ever since it's mysteries. been like, like, right. like that. Well, the next well, what question was the first is, one? Joey Williams, <laughs> Taco Bell Sprout, says, what's your favourite breed of dog? Uh, I've got Labradors, and therefore I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> Why? Because you don't want to make them feel bad about I themselves. I don't want to make them feel bad. They're, <laughs> they're watching now. <laughs> <laughs> they're looking sad. And and they've got YouTube accounts. Crying. They should fucking subscribe right now. Yeah, they, they, well, no, Trot, they wouldn't watch the content. There's no, there's no need to subscribe no, if you don't no. watch the content. It's not a Cocker Spaniel. It's probably a mix between a Husky and like a good like beady Blue eyes and regal dog, mm-hmm. and a Samoyed, which is like Basically, the opposite. Samoyed. Husky. It's like a husky, but fluffier. Oh, but like a very classical dog, you know, All right. where it's like strong, sturdy. What's your Smith? I could ride it. <laughs> I don't really have a favorite. I mean, I like pugs, obviously, but I wouldn't say they're like my favorite breed of dog. Must be surely. 
Well, they're really cool little, fun little guys. He likes them for the novelty factor. No, 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 not novelty. I think because they've got really nice personality. Like, little dogs do tend to have really cool personalities. But at the same time, like, you know, I'd love to have a huge dog that could go and tear down a bear. Like, that'd be cool. Like a, like a, um, a wolfhound would be cool as well. So I don't really have a Bloodhound. I like dogs a lot, though. Um, you want one that can rip your throat out? I want one that can rip my, my throat out. My problem with the bigger Sick dogs him. is they dribble everywhere. They, like, yeah, you want- slobber. I could get over so that. Dribbles, okay. the, uh, dribbles the annoying. Collect it in the little pot. Jokey McJoker says, What's the weirdest thing you've received in the mail? Rippable Recently, dicks. People have been sending us rippable dicks. Rippable yeah. dicks were the weirdest. Thanks to the yeah. person who sent us that. Sorry They're very cleverly made. Right now. But literally, Velcroable dicks, so you could rip your dick off whenever you like. That was pretty good. Yeah. It's, cool. um, it's creative. But that was weird, too. Also, somebody sent us like a whole bag of jokes. Like <laughs> yeah, a, like, like a kind of joke, joke shop, shop like, like hand buzzers. Yeah, and yeah. Oh, that was quite funny. Snot. Um, uh, yeah, know. we we have some weird stuff, but we re- I've had Not, a like, thong. Nothing super weird. I've oh, had yeah, a pink the thong. thong. Was pretty weird. Yeah, but but like, obviously you know, it was a clearly a nothing big, we big don't joke. encourage. Nothing that's like, Ugh. <laughs> we encourage yeah, ourselves. No bags of shit for trot. No, not yet. No pubes, thankfully. Um, ICMC Charity Challenge says, "Who would win in an arm wrestle?" Boop. I actually have really long arms with no muscle on them. I think I would win. <laughs> I think physically, I think that sounds probably reasonable. Yeah, he's got quite large forearms, isn't he? I don't think that's all the better to wank with. Okay, they're not that big, but like <laughs> they're not that big. Yeah, fuck I, off. I you know, they're giant. They're huge. Uh, the closer I get to the camera, they're bigger. I th- the I'd be an irritating arm wrestler because I'd be going for the. Like, kicking like, on the table. Yeah. The You'd be going for the nuts. I've got bone. You'd be left hand on the table, nuts. Yeah. Or else you're left handed, you'd be right hand. I have a vice grip and it'd be sweaty and horrible and mangly. I hate arm wrestling. It really <laughs> hurts the elbow. Christ. I think I've quite knobbed yeah. the elbow. We're going to have to settle that on the Gadget Show Live. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Arm wrestle! Maybe. <laughs> Bring out the arm wrestling table. Um, did any uh, Zoe King asks, did you? Did any of you three manage to prank anyone get pranked yesterday? Well, I still haven't figured it out yet, so. Not really. <laughs> Apparently I've been pranked. No, I no, I didn't. Sorry. No. Very dull. Um, I made a shitty joke about Origins. That was it. Oh God! Why did you bring yeah, up the O word? Shitty joke about oranges. Yeah. That was it. Oranges. Oranges. That was it. Um, your turn, Ross. Oh, uh, Hidden Lily, who has sent us several stuff, which is probably behind me. I think. Um, yeah. Uh, says, uh, do you have any idols or celebs you're fan or fans of? Yeah, I'm, a, I, um, I'm fans. Of plenty of people. Yeah. Not like. I'm not idols. Oh, I was a fan of Michael Caine. <laughs> yeah. And Hans Zimmer. And yeah. Chris Nolan. And Chris Nolan, the whole lot of them. I like his films more than I like him. Well, yeah, um, but he makes good films. I don't know why yeah. he has to wear a suit in every single like behind the scenes shot. He's mm. just always like kitted out in a suit. It's like try hard, you know that guy from How I Met Your Mother. He's always in a suit. Mm-hmm. That's his joke. That's the joke, right? But yeah, I mean, it, you know, when you see like shots of Steven Spielberg, he's you know in a polo shirt. Mm-hmm. You know, Peter Jackson's always in his just fucking shitty clothes because it's a fucking tiring thing to be out there all day <laughs> filming yeah. and then you've got you know like Chris Nolan looking the smart as possible in yeah. a suit in the middle of like a dirty field just yeah. like yeah, okay. it seems a bit backwards doesn't it yeah but um, uh, yeah, I otherwise think we're mostly fans of like directors Trot's a huge Madonna fan why did you have to say it what? why did you have to tell it it just gets me so excited <laughs> when you, when you bring her up all the time uh, she's a saint uh, I love her is there anyone who, who if, if they came in here, you would kind of feel intimidated to talk to them? What's yeah. Stephen Fry or someone like? Because he, he's quite. An, I'd imagine he'd be quite intimidating to talk to or approach. Well, after after uh, meeting Inte- Bill Bailey, like, oh, highly intelligent people. You respect people. them on TV, and you say, "Oh, well, yeah." Well, Bill Bailey was really chilled out and easy to talk yeah, to, and I, I kind of feel like they're similar personalities in a way. Like maybe so. not yeah, as zany yeah. as Bill Bailey can be on stage, but they're kind of both, you know, I think quite sharp. You can get along with comedians and people like that that have like this jovial yeah. that you th- think to be at least funny yeah. all the time. But someone that oh, Stephen Fry is actually funny. What about intimidating? What about like an American yeah. celebrity? I think that would be a different kind uh, of people that have approach. a serious British I'd, celebrities, I feel like they're probably a bit more. I'd have a hard time like talking to like world leaders. Yeah, like presidents yeah. and poli- politicians. I think I'd like, struggle with those. George Bush would be a bit of a weird one. So, how about them wars? Um, We'd have nothing in common. I, I'd hate yeah. the yeah. having no point of conversation with a, someone yeah, yeah, that's yeah, got yeah. high in a position. I think that's it, really. It'd Comedians a, you can get on with and make one. jokes with. It's fine. I mean, it, that's basically like asking the question. How would you feel being in an awkward situation talking to a person you haven't talked to before? I think that's what we distort. Yeah, pretty too. awkward. <laughs> pretty awkward. And <laughs> yes. But no, we don't fanboy or fangirl. No, I'm no. I, like personally, I'm really against idolization. I think totally like, you know, 
like appreciate people and appreciate the things they've it's done. It's very hard um, to, to imagine when you, you, you go to do events and stuff and people want you to yeah. sign things because you're like, really? Like, it seems like I'm just, not, we're just <laughs> really? average guys who just have to be on the internet. So it's very yeah. strange. So when, um, so yeah, to think of it on the flip side, like, because you were saying, like, um, I happened to have a copy of Instead at the same time and I, I took it with me just in case, like, I happened to bump into anyone who could sign it. And, yeah. um, you were saying that you know there's probably some people there waiting outside to hound them yeah. for for signatures, but like I would never do that because it seems it's just if the opportunity arose. Because if yeah. it happened to me, I'd be quite annoyed. If I, was I guess we to have that somewhere. perspective, maybe it's different, different on a very view. very minute level. Not that we're annoyed by people. No, no, but it's just, it's just it's, if somebody hounded you, we it, can like, appreciate. If somebody came up to you while you were having like a meal or like maybe you know yeah. something in private with your friends or something. It seems it's a, it's you know. Smith, at mate. least take a bit of time. Smith, could you like keep your eyes open? Keep Sorry. your eyes open, mate. Yeah. I actually was nodding. Eyes, then. Um, <laughs> eyes up. Uh, next question. <laughs> all right, uh, where are we at? Ben, Ben, are we at Ben? Go ben? for it, yeah. yeah. Trot. <laughs> all right, okay. Yeah, With your nice. new bad boy beard look, <laughs> <laughs> like that. Would you consider being the new member? To- oh, I've already applied. I haven't heard anything Trot back would be yet. Well up for that shit. Uh, I was actually applying at the we time. Could get I was in, Malik. We in could that math teacher's basement, so I don't think I had any signal. Do you reckon Malik's any good with After Effects? Yeah, we can swap them around. Give them, give them an audition. Sure. Yeah, I, I've already given... People know how good I am at singing. I think I've... They do. It's Top a sure, sure shot. Sure. Top notch. Go for it. Particularly good at 80s era music, aren't you, Trot? Bee Gees. Bee Gees. Fantastic Bee Gees. If you need a Pet higher boys. tone. Bee Gees as well. Ooh, Anything Jesus. monotonous or very high-pitched, I've got it. I don't know how to say the surname of this, of this person, but it says Jan Kusha... Kuchazuski. Kuchazuski. Um Any plans for a new adventure map like Skylands or an epic adventure? Um, not that we are aware, are aware of. Apparently, Matt ages ago from Fire UK said he did have plans for an epic adventure, but I don't know if that's actually happening. Mm-hmm. Um, you can appreciate the scale of what he has to undertake. Yeah, to do it's, that. It's, those are quite big. But um, yeah, to be honest, like I don't know, our Minecraft's kind of been, mm-hmm. you know, downscaled a lot recently. We, we're, we're enjoying Cornerstone. Um, we still got a hat pack. You need to make sure you check that out. That's really good fun. Um, we enjoy if, it far even more. If we're not always that talkative because we're yeah. trying to get something cool done, but yeah. um, but I, I enjoyed hat pack yeah. for it a lot. Um, I always have. Yeah, I think we've reached a good point now. We're not doing too much Minecraft. Where yeah. We feel that like we have to. Cause we used yeah. to, but we're doing enough. A lot that's enjoyable. And now we're doing a lot more other stuff, which is really good fun and new stuff, like a lot more GTA. Uh, GTA PC edition is coming out soon, so that's something to look forward to. Huge. For, Enhancements, Girl, improvements. Um, that doesn't answer the question. It doesn't answer the question. Either the question is if a no, good one no, arises, no plans, like yeah. Epic Adventure 2, totes. totes yeah. Until then, props not. He's really no plans yet. Um, smuckle, smuckle. <laughs> That's how I'm going to pronounce that. Yeah. Gone Smith. Do you enjoy Trot? Did you enjoy the Trot Appreciation Day on, on Tumblr? No, I found that awkward but i think they got un- uh, misunderstood from what you were saying because from what you were saying yeah. in the video because there was a corner saying i was just saying that smith and ross are better like looking people you you said all you, what happens when you go on tumblr is that you just see our faces all the yeah time, because you, you know see your face you get like oh my god i'm so i love smith's face i, I mean <laughs> i've got my own blog about smith's face um uh, but you, it's fair enough you know ross and the, smith I, I, have good looking faces i, I traditionally I, don't and that's but fine. There, you're probably one of the most popular members of her films. The Warriors. You've is. got ten thousand more. I think the character Twitter of the Warriors is, and the, the people love you, the mate. Guys, that you, the, the things that you add to that character, you both do. The greasy, blubbery Warriors. I've never said that about myself. <laughs> uh, you guys have added to that character. And that's what people it. like people and what people it. do fan art about. I think it's your life choices, Trot, and you're responsible for those life choices. I think it's the life choices you think mm-hmm. I have because Smith makes them up. Yep. Mate, ten thousand people call love me you, a mate. rag boy more than yeah. us. So <laughs> greasy rag boy. Enjoy that. That's your appreciation, <laughs> right? But there. yeah, I really appreciate. I, it's really, really nice that everyone did that. But I just like, I went very introvert that day because it's very exposing. Mm. <laughs> I did not want to see my face a lot. That's His not what I actually meant. Actually inverted as well, which is weird. They like popped inside, made a little popping yeah, noise. Horrible. But yeah, it was nice. Thank you, everybody. Cool. That, that was weird, but nice. Uh, read the next one, Schmitty. Uh, Eps uh, at mwolf0 epsilon does some nice fan said, art that uh, person I does. recently came across one of the cartoons from my childhood so I was wondering what's your favourite cartoon as a kid and why I feel like we've answered this one like every time yeah. and it changes Back every now. time um, yeah. I X-Men don't know what to say yeah X-Men was so fucking good Boom. original Diddle- done 
in stereo. I, uh, where it depends on what stage of childhood, doesn't it? Like, yeah, you it know, does, yeah. As you grow up, like, oh, I really like The Simpsons. Then I kind of moved to Family Guy for a bit. And, I really and, liked like, Ren and Stimpy. Did anyone else oh, watch Ren and Stimpy? Uh, that was I so crazy. That. I hate that style. It was hilariously yeah. weird. It was, it was so, like, hyper-realistic at some point. That's when like he zooms, a, like, oh, right into yeah, their mouths. Like, like, it's crazy. Like that. yeah. That's like... Yeah, that was fucked up stuff. But it's also entertaining at the same time. I'm impressed with it from an artistic point of view. But fuck, no, I hated it. And Rocco's Modern Life was similar. Yeah. It was. I like um, like Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, all those yeah. ones. Uh, Dexter's Lab, watch a bit of those. Samurai Jack. Um, Baboon Network and stuff. Weasel, mate. Yeah. Baboon and Weasel. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, that was quite good. Uh, Bethany at Bray Coon. Excited about the new season of Game of Thrones? Of course we are. Who are your favourite characters? Yeah. No! <laughs> just so we can say it. Uh, Peter Dinky. Say, yeah. You can't not like yeah, him. That's, yeah, that's... He's, 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 he's up there, isn't he? Uh, what's, Peter Dankledge. Who's, who's his like right hand man? He's an awesome Bro, character. Uh, Bra- uh, Bro- uh, Bron. Bron. <laughs> Bron. It literally is Bron. I, I, like like, I had Bron. to check that. I'm like, talking hey, can't Peter, be that close to Bran. Talking about Peter Dankledge. There's some more worms coming soon. And we mentioned Peter worms. Dankledge. In a we we in talk a, week a bit week about Game of Potter Thrones. Potter Dankledge. That's coming in a week though. Potter Dankledge. Mate. Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, I. Uh, fuck yeah. Bron. Bron's a great character. Yeah. I really like Bron as well. Um, but equally, like, there's some characters that haven't been in the TV show yet, which are really cool. Oh, cool. Um, Let's hope they characterize well. Something to look forward to. I like the Viper. What's his name? Yeah, he was really cool. Oberon. Right till no, 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 no spoilers. No spoilers. Not spoiler free. I like and still like him. <laughs> uh, okay, Prince Oberon, crisp face, huh? At infinite crisp. Potter. Oh, <laughs> crisp. <laughs> what? <laughs> have any of you been laughing? Have any of you been laughing before? If so, how was it? <laughs> no. no, no, we always we went, did, but we had to go to a show. Yeah, we went to a convention instead. Looking forward to it. <laughs> but no, we haven't. I, I'd definitely be up for it though. We should. We It'd should be hilarious, we should, especially we if we drink. Sometime. Yeah. Get drunk and just be goblins. Ah. <laughs> Bi- <laughs> Hannah at Bit of Wonderland says, How do you all feel about Top Gear and Jeremy, Jeremy Clarkson? I know I'm going to miss it, but it sucks what's, what sucks what Jeremy done. I sort of kept <laughs> quiet about this one. <laughs> I just heard that. Um, yeah, no, the, the BBC had to. They had to do it. Only you've been vocal about sense. this, Ross. Well, yeah, because I really like Top Gear. I used to, I, well, when it, even the recent series, I used to go home and just watch it with my family. It's, it's a good show, yeah. and then obviously, yeah, they just cancelled the whole thing. So it is good. It's I a good show. I feel like um, it's one of those issues that you just talk round and round and round about, though. Like, yeah, you, know, it's, about it. you know, he, did, he clearly did something. You can't bad really excuse and fair enough that BBC type of behaviour in general. So they couldn't. You it's know. very widely public. I think it's also. Like, I I do feel like that. Like the Jeremy Clarkson was getting quite old, though. Like I, yeah, I, no, I, yeah. Like, the last few series have like fuck. He looks really old. Not that that's. <laughs> Anything that I should like, I don't want to sound ageist. Does uh, sound ageist. That doesn't I'm excuse not, no, actually, his actions. I'm not ageist <laughs> no, at yeah, all. Well. I actually really, I really think uh, like uh, older people should be getting jobs and stuff. But I think, um, I think that collaboration people was really good though. If yeah, it just like, felt a bit like weird May because like Hammond. some of the stuff they did, I felt like things would have like some of the uh, specials they did would have been different if they had a group of younger people. Like I feel like it would have been. A Are bit you more... suggesting us three? I'm suggesting how films should become a new Top Gear. I don't series. know shit all about cars. Let's drive one away. You don't need to. I don't think you need to. You could be um, just who, list the facts. Uh, they, yeah. all know, they all know quite. All right, about BBC, cars. if you're watching, but those, they do, yeah. If I you mean, need a replacement, you, um, you, you, you wouldn't say long trial. Like, I reckon one year as a Top Gear host, and you'd know a fuck about cars. I reckon we'd be absolutely hated because any replacement Jerry. <laughs> oh, Kenson exactly. That's the thing. You don't. You don't want to be. You don't want to be that producer. You don't want to be that replacement. That replacement, you don't really want to be anywhere near. I mean, hopefully they make something else like that's kind of cool. I like the adventures they want, it was, and it's just yeah. funny the collaboration. That's of the, the only the things three I people. watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, so hopefully, yeah. They to do be something. honest, the specials okay. were really good, but the the main show was a bit meh. Like, yeah. the star and reason we priced car took way too much time. It's clearly, a, I don't know, a paid promotion. A, pl- or something. a plug for like that. Yeah, film but it just stuff. took. They just took like you know twenty minutes to do that segment. Yeah. It's just like I don't want to see a shit car drive. They didn't even like talk about the car anymore. Like mm. it'd be funny if it was like a banger or something. Like oh yeah, we're using a one liter so and so like. Oh, oh, cool! But no, it's just like, like when they just yeah go to these random like cities and have challenges to go to certain places. Really well like minimal fuel and like yeah, which is interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. These little challenges are really always interesting See to watch. And do. those three kind of make it quite quite insane. I'm sure they'll replace it with some don't good worry talent as well. But I really hope it isn't Chris Evans. No, like, he said he did, he's guaranteed he didn't want to. Do I don't it, want. I don't so. mind Chris Evans. I just don't feel like that would be good. He said he didn't want to do it. So mm. I mean, um, but that could change. Who knows? Don't worry, guys. If you want your money, top, speaks wonders, doesn't it? Top get fix. We'll do something like that one day. Yeah, we'll go places. And It'd be nice if we had the budget to be able to do it on like on our own channel, but you know it's expensive. Maybe one day we will run to organize the amount because the amount of it's the amount of people behind the behind, behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Right, we could do something like that, but it'd be quite half assed. It was just us three with some <laughs> GoPros, yeah. like driving around somewhere. Like it'd be, yeah. be nice to actually be able to organize something like that. Yeah. So you know, 
one day. What's our final question then, Smith? Uh, final question is, <laughs> if you could be any WWE star, who would you be? Should you start with Trot, the biggest WWE fan in Hat Films? I don't actually like it, okay? I just... You fucking love you it. You paid no, to watch off. it, Trot. Do you not like it? Why the it? fuck did you okay. not pay, you pay to watch it? You suggesting that I like it thinks that I watch it all the time, which I don't. I literally... No, I said the biggest WWE fan in Hat Films. That's it, isn't it? You are the biggest. You paid money to watch WrestleMania. I did. Which Fair is enough. more than any of us. And you also know quite a lot about that it. That makes it sound like I'm a huge fan, though. But you are the biggest one in Hat Films. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not. Uh, I'm three not, people. Not telling the fifth there. This is the first time I've watched it in years. But anyway, uh, The Rock because he's actually got a career outside of wrestling. That's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say because yeah. he's actually, you know, done other things, and it's not just dressing up in a clown face mask and then. Well, I was going to say John Cena. So there you okay. go. Why? Well, there you go. Because I've like done a little bit of research on WWE recently. He's a nice guy, um, isn't he? He does I like just... lots of Make a Wish. In fact, tonight's video. Things. Yeah. What's yeah. tonight's video? Uh, it's probably just released. At 8 o'clock. Oh, it's going at 8 o'clock. Yeah, because okay. I thought we'd be doing this then. Um, yeah, at 8 o'clock, there's, uh, the, we had a bash in WWE <laughs> SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Which but it's it's a special we, we WrestleMania a edition. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Trop put together some WrestleMania characters from the recent From his favorite. Yeah. His past, favorite characters. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going to be going out at 8 o'clock tonight, so hopefully you enjoy that. Well, it wasn't my favorite. It's your favorite thing. It was the WWE one from... Fucking hell, he loves it! It's the one from WrestleMania. Wrestling, but okay. Well, that seems like that's pretty much all the questions. Is we've that got it, here. Ross? We that's probably do have. To, if we haven't for. asked you a question, we apologise. Uh, mm. Better luck next time. Got limited time, limited bandwidth, and limited do. CPU before Ross's computer explodes. Knows, yeah, you, if you managed, to, if you if it didn't work very well while you're watching it live, we apologise. Mm. The high quality version will be available soon. It'll be a iTunes podcast, and it'll be on Podbean, and it'll be on our website, and it'll be on Hopefully. a VOD potentially on youtube we'll tweet it if you follow us on twitter which is a great thing to do even if you don't use twitter and you just want to see it's our just updates down there, look just do that or, fa- or our facebook because our, our tweets go to facebook as well so mm-hmm. one of those mediums go for it well oh, thanks for joining us try guys? and play us out do it play us out um i have a quiet lead out we'll see you next hat chat okay. ladies and gents with some crazy new updates and better streaming hopefully Yay. let's not promise that <laughs> <laughs>